So we're currently in baby boy's soon to be nursery. I just recently redid this room and then I turned it into an office craft room and I absolutely love it. One of my favorite rooms in the house, but we're going to be taking it completely apart and turning it into our little boy's nursery, which I'm really excited for. So I got this package in the mail last night and I did not open it. It feels like Christmas day. I'm so excited to open it, but I wanted my reaction to be very genuine of what everything looks like. So this is from Love Versus Design, which is a really cool wallpaper company. So I ordered, um, I think seven, six to seven different samples. So let's open this up and see what they look like. By the way, the wallpaper is going to go inside of these boxes here. I'm gonna add um, a decorative molding inside the boxes take the top wallpaper off and then whichever wallpaper we choose will go inside of the boxes. I'm so excited, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So Connor and I went through these together. Wow, these are huge samples. I did not expect them to be this big. We went through them together. There is some that he likes a little bit more. There's some that I like a little bit more. So I'll just start with the first one. The first one, is buffalo check which is so cute this color is beautiful i love this um so the theme of his nursery is going to be a i i say gentle beatrix potter i don't want it to be very themey like i don't want you to walk in and it's like a beatrix potter crib dresser wallpaper toys rug ceiling you know, everything. Like, I just wanted to have little touches of Beatrix Potter. The next one. Oh, this is so beautiful. <gasps> this is the next one. Again, very just muted and calming. I feel like a nursery should be those two things. It should be, like, very calming and relaxing. This one, this one might be a little hard to see because of the colors I chose. So maybe I would need to go with a deeper color background, but you can see there's like a bunny here, there's butterflies, um, a snail, a squirrel, an acorn, a leaf. So that could be kind of fun and whimsical. So these next ones are the ones that I was really excited about. This was their print that I found through Etsy that I fell in love with. Um, it's kind of like one of those toll, toil, I don't know how to pronounce it, wallpapers. Um, this one just has birds on it, which I think would be so pretty in here. And then I also got it with the lighter blue, just to see what that would look like, which is very pretty as well. Um, and then the last one is a bunny print but you can see again i think this is too light at least right now it looks too light but these are little bunnies and there's like some flowers and leaves um but it's really cute looking so all of this is peel and stick so i could just unpeel this and then stick it to the wall but i think i'm actually just going to tape it because i want to be able to like move things around a little bit and then if i kind of like you know, take it down to like a couple wallpapers. I like, I want to have them all side by side and be able to keep moving them without, you know, them being stuck. Although it's obviously not permanent. I don't think I'll be able to keep unpeeling and resticking. So we're just going to tape these down. So let me do that really quickly. I don't know which one I like better honestly none of them stand out to me as like this is it I also think though it's a little hard to get the full vision with this wallpaper up so I think I might have to take this down so I feel like this is the most 
obvious one to choose for a boys room because it looks very boyish um and I like it I just feel like it might be a little bit much in the boxes um maybe like a little bit too bold I want something really subtle um that way we can add like lots of decorations and stuff like that um I really like this print a lot and I still love the birds the birds have my heart I'm not sure what it is about them I just think it's like really peaceful relaxing this one I like but it's really hard to see because this blue is so light in color I think it needs to be more of this blue or like the bird one right there because it's very hard to see all the details and then this one at the end I think is really cute but I'm thinking it might be a little bit girly feeling because of the flowers I don't know I'm gonna have to see it in different lighting the lighting is really bad right now so it's kind of hard to tell um I'm gonna just have to keep holding Mr. Peter Rabbit up to all of these to try to get the vision of what it's gonna look like. I think this one though, I can kind of say is maybe too busy with stuff. I don't know, I have no idea. We'll just have to keep playing with it and I'll have to keep coming in here every day. Oh, I love how this one looks. And I really like these two, I think. Okay, you guys, today is officially the day that we are going to start transforming our craft room into baby boy's nursery. First step is to take out this wallpaper. I just asked you guys on Instagram if you have any techniques on how to save it. I have wax paper. Sorry, my finger was just in the camera. Um, I have wax paper. So I was thinking maybe if I put wax paper behind it, I can save it only because I only just put this wallpaper up maybe a year and a half ago. Um, so I feel like it's such a waste to throw it out. I might be able to use it for drawers or maybe just for some other project or like for the back of shelves and stuff like that. So I would like to save it if possible. I'm clear this off. Eh. Let's not do heavy loads. I've been lifting too heavy of things. So my back has been really bad, which is why I can't wear normal pants anymore. Um, so I feel like the rest of my pregnancy, my videos, I'm gonna be in like pajamas all the time. So just be prepared for that. Wow, I thought I was gonna be so sad even ripping the wallpaper down. I was like, I'm so sad this is coming down, but it looks so bright in here. And I feel like I can already see this now turning into a nursery because that wallpaper, I loved it as the room, how it was set up, but trying to figure it out with these little wallpapers was so confusing. And I feel like the vision is a lot more clear now. So I'm just gonna try to stick wax paper um, on the wallpaper. The 
the wallpaper wrapped up so beautifully. I just tied some string around it to make sure that it stays put. So I'm really excited. This like wrapped up so well. I guess the real test will be if in a few months or whenever I decide to use this to see if it works, but I have a feeling it will. His crib is here, which I'm so excited about. I feel like their logo is really beautiful. Um, this crib I found online months ago and it was $500 and I just did not want to spend $500 on a crib. I found some other cheaper ones that were um, like the high ones, lower twos. So I was gonna buy that and then I went to go buy the crib that was cheaper and for some reason when I like typed it in this one popped back up like I have no idea how it happened but this one popped back up and it was on sale for $179. It was so cheap if it's still on sale I mean regardless I'll still link it down below but to go from $500 to $179 I was so happy because it was actually cheaper than the cheap crib that I found which was like $220 so I'm really excited to open this up and start putting it together I feel like that's gonna help to just give me more inspo on this room so let's start doing that So first of all, the instructions are really beautiful. As soon as I open this up, it says one person X, you need two people. So I feel like I put so much furniture together so I should be good, but it just kind of made me laugh that it said you need two people. I literally am just finishing. I'm putting the, the mattress in and I can hear Connor coming in the house now. Oh, of course. This is done. He'll be surprised that it's all together. It looks so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. This is stunning. I can't even get over this. It is so beautiful. And so we went with this one because we thought this would be great for any of our, hopefully we can have another baby. So if we can, future child, whether it's another boy or if it's a girl, it would be perfect. It's very timeless. I just can't get over how beautiful it is. Put the crib mattress in. Oh, it is so pretty. And now we're seeing it with the wallpapers. I feel like it's making it a little bit easier to kind of decide. I'm so excited. And then of course, this guy walks in right when I'm done. <laughs> so this morning I kind of forced myself to go through all the wallpapers. And I think that I've picked the wallpaper that I like. So are you guys ready for it? Drum roll. Okay, so here's the one that I've decided to go with. 
This was my initial, when I initially saw this wallpaper online, I was like, that is it. That's what I want for his nursery. I feel like I need to follow my gut and just go with the one that I originally loved. So I have to decide um, if I want to, so this color looks kind of similar, these three colors. Um, so if I, once this wallpaper is in here, I have to decide if I'm gonna put some molding in here as well, just to kind of elevate it and make it look a little bit more um, vintage, I guess, because I think right now it has like more of a modern look. Um, and then also I need to decide if I want to paint all of this trim in a blue color to kind of match it. Um, or if I just want to leave everything white or if I want to go with like a shiny white or if I want to paint the extra walls, that blue color, maybe to tie things in. I can't really decide yet. It's really hard for me to make this decision. Okay, I just got a big package in the mail from... Target and I think this is the light for his room. So I'm gonna open it up. I was really hoping this was gonna go on sale for Black Friday, but it did not go on sale at all. Um, so that was really sad. But I think it'll be worth it, hopefully. It's really hard to take out. Oh, got it. Wow. It looks so cute. So this is what it looks like when it lights up. It kind of has a... Um, that gold look with this kind of, I don't know, just reminds me of like golden hour, how it, when it lights up, it just looks really beautiful. And it's not see-through when it lights up, but the light definitely radiates through it really nicely. So I'm thinking it's gonna look really pretty here, possibly, I don't know. We'll have to see, but it definitely does look cute with like, yeah, I think that will look good in here. I think that should be pretty. It's so heavy. 